everyone welcome back to the channel my apologies for not appearing yesterday there's a lot going on in the Aljack household and family um, so I had to just take a bit of a step back for a minute um, I have been sent this incredible book by um, a lovely lovely person called Holly look at the card she sent isn't that lovely I won't read you the inside but it's got a wonderful sentiment in there and um, yeah, very heartfelt message. So I will add that to my little notice board up here. There we go. So this is the Mythographic Artist Vault, which is a hardback, um, obviously sewn bound book. And it um, features many of the colouring pages from Mythographic series. Sadly, it's only available at Walmart for us UK um, people. We don't have Walmart. I don't know if it would be in um, Asda, maybe, because Asda's Walmart, isn't it? So it might be in the bigger stores. I'm not sure. But it says a limited collector's edition of mesmerising art from the archives. This is the back. Look at this gold foiling. And it says the vault has been opened and it's brimming with enchantment. Unlock a spellbinding treasury of masterful art. Mythographic colour and discover artists. Vault is a compendium of un oh, unreleased illustrations and cherished favourites. Oh, OK, so there is some new and some that haven't been uh, released. Oh, wow. OK. So, um... Castle Point books. Oh, it's just look at the deep purple or colour on that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's matte, but oh, it's so wonderful. So she sent me all this all the way from the US, asked me if I'd like a copy of it, and um, I couldn't believe my luck. Look at the inside cover, folks. Isn't that gorgeous? So we'll do a flip. I've got a few mythographics, but not too many, so I wouldn't be able to tell you um originally what book they're from or if they're new or not so um we'll have a look together it does tell you the artist but it doesn't tell you which book it came from this is fabiana Atanasio and um Atanasio, sorry and i'm wondering if this is from avia aviary but this is beautiful thick bright white cardstock paper but smooth it's um just like the mythographic paper, which is a wonderful cardstock. Look at that beautiful bird. Now, of course, these are some of these illustrations are older, so they do have the hidden objects in, but nothing a little bit of acrylic paint won't fix. Oh, and I'm very excited. Look, look, look. With my one of my birthday vouchers, I got some apple barrel. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve apple barrel paints. Um, and they are matte, so I can colour over them. I'm so excited. Look at those gorgeous colours. And if you know me well enough, you'll know. Look, it's got Kelly Green, one of my favourite greens from the Prisma set. So I'm so excited about that. So we can just, I can just paint over a little, like the Mexican hat up here and the gingerbread man, and then I'll just colour over it and and you probably wouldn't even notice, but isn't that a beautiful picture? They're all going to be. So this is Joseph Kattenbang. And we've got these two beautiful fish going into flowers. There is a lot of hidden objects that I see in this image. But you either roll with it or you cover them up. And um, since they don't do them anymore... It's quite nice to have a collection of the ones that did have them. Look at this one. See, I've never seen this. This is Fabiana again. Now, I'm not sure whether this is just exclusively in this book. You will have to let me know in the comments so that I know, if, if you're aware, um, whether this is <coughs> excuse me, exclusive to this book or... Um, it's in one of the other books, is what I'm trying to say. I'm just looking at all those mushrooms. That's what took my words away. Aren't they gorgeous images? This is Joseph again. 
so here we've got I know it's quite difficult to see sometimes on these books when people do flip throughs so here we've got uh, what looks like a blue whale but it's got wings look some stingrays or manta rays and there's all sorts of feathers flowers leaves beautiful beautiful artwork and then we've got how do you say that Alessandra Fusey look at these beautiful cranes or swans sorry swans I just saw the feet and thought cranes well that is a crane isn't it so we've got swan swan and then cranes and then these records that's so cool isn't it is that no no I was gonna say is that Avery but I think Avery is at an art at an I've got I do have Avery um, oh it's by um Cat and Bang Joseph Cat and Bang Avery yeah I got that wrong didn't I wow okay <laughs> I'll shut my face I'll shut my face because I'm clearly going to get that wrong. So um, unlike the mythographic actual colouring books, these are not perforated. This is um, like a, well, it says limited. So a limited collector's edition. Makes me never want to colour in it when it says things like that. Um, so this is Fabiana. Look at this, this like archway or portal. It could be a mirror. Now, is he either it's your interpretation, I suppose, is either being sucked in or jumping out. Look at him, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Look at that. That's a lovely picture because it's less busy. Even though there's going to be a lot of detail to colour him in, but oh gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, Joseph Catenbang. And we've got a fairy. I would say a fairy, but just a lady. Um, on a horse and then all in the background is these tentacles from um, an octopus or a giant squid and then manta ray or stingray again but that's a beautiful picture isn't it imagine this background in um, like bluey turquoise watercolour oh gorgeous gorgeous and I love this one I absolutely love this this is Fabiana. Again, I have no idea if it's in the book. What does it tell you at the back? It's got a little bit about the artists, but no, it doesn't. It tells you a little bit about the artist, which we'll look at. Um, oh, it does say here, some illustrations were previously published in the following book. Um, Animals by Joseph Kattenbang, Cosmic Spirit by Fabiana, Dreamweaver by Alice... Alessandra, uh, Fairy Wonderland by Fabiana, Imagine by Joseph, Labyr Labyrinth by Joseph, Odyssey by Joseph and Wonderlust by Aless Alessandra. I can't get that out. Gorgeous. I love this image. I love it. Look at that. And then Joseph a beautiful unicorn with all sorts going on gorgeous isn't it and this one is probably my favorite in this book I don't have any by her I don't think or him um, I have cat and bang and I have Joseph and I have um, Atanasio, Fabiana's work. So I don't have any, any books by this person, but I'm really loving the artwork, whether it's a he or a she, I'm not sure. Isn't that gorgeous, that one? Look at those piercing eyes. And I can imagine that in sort of deep reds, golds, and maybe some blue. That'd be gorgeous. Oh, it's lovely. And I love this one. 
Yeah, so if you are in the UK, you might be able to go to the bigger um, Asda stores because they're owned by Walmart and it might be in there. You never know. That's gorgeous, isn't it? All those bumblebees. And then the, like, the bumblebee village. <laughs> Instead of just a standard hive. It's gorgeous. Okay, Fabiana. So we've got what looks like a King Kong a type ape creature guarding the entrance to this tomb, maybe. Bit of a Tomb Raider theme, maybe. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? And then we've got Joseph Kattenbang. So we've got all these cogs and he's like um, steampunked up this deer. Their imagination is incredible, isn't it? And then Fabiana's done two little hamsters running the wheel of life. And they're just going nowhere. They're just stuck in space, look. Isn't that cool? Now, I've never seen that before, but it doesn't mean that it's not in another one of her books. I love that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I like the idea. In my head, it says that they just get, they're getting nowhere. They're just stuck in space. That's what the message is that it's kind of sending to me. But gorgeous, if you like sort of planets and galaxy backgrounds. And then, at an, uh, sorry, Alessandra, this one, Fusey. So we've got <laughs> all these birds' nests with famous landmarks in. So the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben. Looks like the Colosseum. Isn't that cool? Very clever. And then this deer with these incredible antlers that are holding all these nests in, or where these nests have been put. Very cool. And then Joseph Kattenbang again, of course he's wonderful. Look at this lion caught up in these thorns. And then we've got a serpent here, or snake, in there, in all these, like, brown balls. That's a lovely picture. And this one, I love this one. This is Fabiana Atanasio again. But look at this gorgeousness. Got these incredible art, um, archways leading through into these buildings behind and these beautiful flowers. Yeah, that's just gorgeous, isn't it? And this is my other absolute favourite in this book. I have had, I have had to have a sneak peek, folks. So this is Fabiana, and I, I don't know if this is exclusive or not, but look at this picture. So my log cabin that I want, which nobody's offered yet still. It's got to be like four years on. I must be nearly five years of YouTube. Where is my offer? of my log cabin or the land to build it on. Come on guys, what's wrong with you all? <laughs> That's my dream. I mean, look at it, isn't, isn't that stunning? So we've got the mountains in the background, the log cabins, they've been snowed in. Well, that might be a bit of a problem if Amazon can't get through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then the lake down here, isn't it beautiful? And this border. Look at that border. I absolutely love this one. That is just stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous picture. And this one, we've got fish. A big brute here. And he's got an octopus tentacle. And then we've got what looks like some kind of um, ship with wings. Incredible flying fish. And I like it, it's like pointillism, this one, on, on the fish there, and the clouds. And then we've got this one. Now, I find this one really hard to make out. I can see there's a toad, like a three-eyed toad here. And then this is tree, I presume, but are these just windows? I think they are. A little stairway there. So some of these pictures you have to colour, don't you? You've got to put colour down to work them out. But I love it. I love the toad. 
Oh, and then we've got a Fabiana Winter Castle. Look at this. So we've got some crystals, snowflakes, snow and ice on it. A rolling pin, which would have to go. But gorgeous. Look at that. And that I have seen, or if it's not this one, I've seen one very similar to this. But stunning. Stunning. Okay, Fabiana, we've got two beautiful swans here. And they're like candles, their heads are melting, look. Got melted wax there. And then in these circles, which I find quite annoying, I'd have to probably take them out, you've got the flames. But in this instance, like that kind of works really well with this page to have those circles because look at all the melting wax on them. Isn't that clever? How they produce these and think these up, and they do them quite quickly, don't they, these artists? But incredible. Beautiful, beautiful image. And then I love this one too. This is Fabiana. We've got this beautiful piano. I don't know if it's a grand piano, just a very beautiful one with all these notes coming out of it and um, like smoke coming out. I suppose that would be all the potential it's got, isn't it, to the music coming out. And there's space to get rid of any hidden objects if you don't want to. Because that's just a wall so we could paint over that. Or like I say, just embrace them and put them in. I love this image, it's gorgeous. And then this one, this is Joseph Kattenbang. Look at this, like, Chinese dragon. Isn't his face gorgeous? It reminds me of A Never Ending Story. That face. Can't think what his name was. Atreo, was Atreo the little boy? I can't remember. I know it was a trail was in it, but I can't remember what the dragon was called. Somebody will let me know. And then look at this one. Um, Alessandra again. She is brilliant, or he, uh, my apologies. They are brilliant. I love it. So we've got poppies down here. Crystals. Now that colour scheme that I was thinking about earlier, that would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? The goldy browns for our owl, the deep reds for the poppies, and then we could have blue crystals. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I might have to look this artist up, you know, because their work is just amazing. Fabiana again, so we've got this beautiful castle and dragonflies and roses. Isn't that lovely? It's gorgeous, isn't it? And this paper, I don't know if it's slightly thicker than the... Let me get one. Let me just grab one. I think it's slightly thicker, actually. It's so hard to tell. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, it's definitely thicker. Definitely thicker. So it's even thicker than the um, mythographic book and we know how much, the, uh, what the paper's like in those. Oh, that is beautiful. Really beautiful. And then Joseph Canterbang. Now I think I've seen this one. Little fox. Gorgeous, isn't it? That'd have to go. I can't have an arrow shooting it in the head. That would have to go. <laughs> oh, wow. Fabiana with all these. Reminds me a little bit of the night garden. Is it the night garden? Oh, I'm saying all these things and I can't tell you. Um... It is, yeah, the night, the night voyage book with all the paper aeroplanes in it. Now I'd love that bit, but colouring this, wow, that would be hard. 
and then we've got a Fabiana page here look at this isn't this cool so we've got two poodle dogs coming out of the jack-in-the-boxes and then we have actually got jack-in-the-boxes here so it's very circus themed I love it I think it's gorgeous picture I don't know like I say I don't know if this is in a book or if this is just uh, an exclusive but wow look at that picture I love it <laughs> and of course the poodles would have to be done in a different colour they'd have their fur coloured very very intelligent dogs poodles yeah I love that page and this one this is Joseph Kattenbang I absolutely love this look at this so this locket has got the space in behind it, a waterfall coming out of it, and then this young lady stood at the top, on top of the world here, with the trees around her. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Gosh, I love that one. Sorry I'm spending so long, but it just gives you a chance to see it all. We've got mountains and trees here, this big tree going over the whole lot, and um, columns here. Oh, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Love this one too, Fabiana. The only thing that lets this down is they've put those playing cards on the actual roof of the building but we could work something out there. I'm sure once you've done the trees, if you put a little bit of paint over there and did the trees, you wouldn't even notice it. But isn't that beautiful? So we've got this wintry, um, wintry scene in the centre with the uh, Aurora Borealis style background. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Joseph Kattenbang. Now this is an intricate page, but look at the mushroom folk. Aren't they cute? I want a mushroom folk. I have this one, this little lady down here, please. <laughs> they can all come and live with me. Look at how cute they are. And we've got a little caterpillar. That is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Fabiana, very cityscape picture. Oh, they're so talented, aren't they? Gosh. Oh, I love this one. The little kitty cat playing with the ball of wool, which holds up the foundation to this beautifully intricate, intricate building. Tetris blocks there. They'd have to go. But this one, I could see, would be really easy to put in... Um, a background with acrylic paint and get rid of some of the things you don't want that would it would be an easier wouldn't be so challenging I love this page it's gorgeous 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 I'm scared to color in it it's so lovely it's a bit like my green witch I've looked and looked and looked at that book and I don't know how to color it because I don't know what the plants are <laughs> this is Joseph Kattenbang and he's created this robot woman. Uh, well, I say woman, it could be a man. I, I don't know why. Just the jawline and the lips give me the, the sense of woman. And all these beautiful flowers coming out. And this little butterfly that's rested on the nose. It's even got a plug here that's been pulled out, look. Isn't that cool? And then Fabiana has created this, um, what do you call it? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get the, is it Minotaur that I'm thinking of? Bull creature <laughs> in a very um, Greek style buildings. And then this maze in the background. You know those games where you have to hold it and get the marbles into the centre? Reminds me of that with the ball of wool though. See, those scissors there kind of make sense, doesn't it? That kind of makes sense to me. Maybe they could stay. The snow globe down here. Goodbye. <laughs> 
but it's the price you pay for beautiful oh my goodness here we go oh wow this is joseph look at this beautiful woman Oh, wow. So she's entangled in all these spider's webs. Oh, my goodness. This is gorgeous. Uh, sorry if you don't like spiders, but I don't like spiders after my recent experience. But um, it doesn't bother me seeing them in a book. She is gorgeous. Gypsy style jewellery and headdress oh she's beautiful I love that one. Oh man she's gorgeous as is this one it's that lady I have all that man that I have trouble saying Alessandra I'm probably saying it wrong Alessandra um, so here we've got a unicorn that has a fold where the book spine is Here's the book round the edge. And then a spillage of ink that runs down into that black in the centre. And this beautiful quill at the back here. Isn't that a clever page? Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely love it. And then a very dark one, which is um, Fabiana. This is really dark line work. I wonder if this was an earlier one. Her line work seems much thinner now, or lighter at least. But we've got all these fireflies with little lanterns in their butts strapped to them. And then all these mushrooms, and then a very intricate building behind. Well, it's not that intricate compared to some of them in here, but busy then. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Wow, okay. Fabiana. Look at that. Some kind of creature. I'm not sure what creature that is. A hybrid creature. As is the hybrid castle behind. Looks like some all sorts of uh, buildings put together from different places around the world. Still be incredible when it was coloured. And then we've got Joseph Kattenbang, and he's done this T-Rex skull. All right, okay, let's have a look a clo bit closer. This T-Rex skull, here is like a tomb with runes around it. And we've got a tiny, um, like, looks like, like a, a Roman soldier down here. A spinal column in there. A lizard. I hope you can pick these things out as I say them, because I know it's hard. There's another skull here, uh, like a smaller T-Rex skull. Isn't that clever? Look at this path. Gorgeous. Oh, the artwork alone, just to have this book as is, like this artwork, is just a, such a special treat, Holly. Thank you so much. I have thanked her. We have um, spoken on Instagram. and So we've got very Egyptian style theme going on here. Look at this, like Sphinx cat. Serpents either side. Is it like mirrored? It's not exactly mirrored. It changes that well because like, they've stuffed a pyramid in there. But that's okay. But yes, it is mirrored. It's just that we've got odd things been thrown in so we've got a pyramid there and a pyramid here instead and this snake is about to strike whereas this one's more passive that's a beautiful picture and I love this one I have seen this one um, I think that's in one of my books but look at this isn't that lovely or I've seen a very similar one to it I imagine this in like soft pastels, pastel colours. So like, well that's not really pastel, but do you get what I mean? Like, that's called pink parfait. But like, oh, blues and teals and pink and, oh yeah, just stunning. It's gorgeous, I absolutely love that image. 
I like the simplicity of it when you look through all the busyness of the book and then you come to this one it's it's much more simpler it's simpler <laughs> it's not particularly simple but it's simpler so we've got this like Taj Mahal type building which forms the key so here's the body of the key and here's the the prongs clever very clever and then this one Fabiana look at this It. It's like a palm reader, is it? What do you think? Mm, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't know, all these things sort of pop into my head, but I like that one. And then we've got this one. Look at this, Joseph Catambang. Wow, look at this. So we've got I'm presuming mummy unicorn and baby unicorn. Look at their beautiful wings. And I've got a toad, a little toad, just in this woodland by the lake here, or the pond rather, with the um, lily pads. Isn't that stunning? Okay, and then we've got a little bit about the artists. It's a he, a her, Alessandra. So she's, um, her work's been featured across Europe and the United States, as well as in books, games and stationery. She loves music, fairy tales, coffee and dancing. She lives in Italy with her partner and her two cats, Reno and Cooper. Fabiana's from Italy. She's a degree in illustration. Joseph Katambang is self-taught and he's a Filipino-American. Very talented, all three. And then it tells you the, uh, the, what I read to you at the beginning about some of the books that were featured. Illustrations by, yeah, copyright 2024, St Martin's Press, and then you get that incredible back cover again, and then, what an absolute treat to have, and a pleasure to own, I'm very blessed, get yourselves over to Asda folks, I can't put the link in because I don't have it, and we don't have Walmart, so I, I can't put the link in, but get yourselves over to Asda if you're in the UK and go and have a look. Let me know if you find it there. Um, I'd be I'd be really intrigued. But Holly, you're an absolute sweetheart. Thank you so much. I look forward very much to colouring in this. I think we'll get to it. If there's a page in particular that's your favourite, let me know. Let's see if we match up. Was yours the same as mine? All right, guys. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I'm hoping, God willing, fingers crossed, that... I will be back to normal as from next week um, and yeah so have yourselves a very lovely weekend take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon bye